Hello once again everybody, I'm Jake Lucci and welcome to my video coaching newsletter. The title of today's video coaching newsletter is Spotlight Parents and Limelight Coaches. Today what we're going to talk about is how do coaches and parents affect the college recruiting process for better or for worse and what are some things we can talk to these parents and coaches about about maybe how to adjust their approach and of course I'm talking to you, the prospects. Prospects and those that are involved in the college recruiting process, you really have to think about these decisions that you're making, and that way you can guide your parents and coaches in helping you earn a college scholarship. After all, that's what it's about at the end of the day. It's not necessarily about a college recruiting advisor or your parents or your coaches. It's really about you as the prospect. And as a former scholarship athlete, I will tell you, when you sign that college scholarship, there's really nothing better. It's really an awesome feeling. It's not just how you feel about yourself, but it's about how you feel about all the hard work that you've put into your sport, and it's about feeling accomplished. It's about having the opportunity to go earn your college degree, to stay in school, and to pursue a set of goals that are going to make you better in the world and have a chance to really be successful in life. I have a quote I wrote on this subject, and we'll talk a little bit more about some tips and tricks during the college recruiting process that you can use to maybe help your parents and coaches not so much feel focused on being in the limelight, but rather be more focused on helping you achieve your goals and supporting you on and off the field. The quote says, to be part of the successful minority, you must be willing to do things that the majority of people don't do. This means the resilience you must exude every day must be greater than that of your peers, your friends, your family, and those you see when scrolling through your social media feed. Professional athletes, entrepreneurs, and successful business people know this resilience all too well. Oftentimes, it takes many years to become an overnight success, and disciplining your behavior must happen for an extended period of time before anyone knows who you are. You make sure to continue to work hard and do it over an extended period of time, and you have a chance of people taking notice of not only who you are, but maybe even potentially wanting to recruit you for a college scholarship. The quote goes on to say, comparing yourselves to others is like climbing the infinite staircase. It's a never ending journey that ultimately leads nowhere. Comparing yourself to who you were yesterday, a month ago, or in years past will give you the necessary self-awareness to focus on continued improvement throughout your life, ultimately allowing you to reach the target goals you have set for yourself. A small percentage of athletes will get paid to play the sport they love. A small percentage of people will have the lifestyle that they truly desire. Always keep in mind that success is not solely based on how much money you have in your bank account, but rather the goals you have set for yourself that will lead to ultimate freedom and happiness. Freedom and happiness, that's really what we're looking for here. We're looking for truth, freedom, and happiness. And when you have spotlight parents and limelight coaches that are always doing just that, stealing the spotlight, trying to be in the limelight, it makes it really difficult for prospects to focus on having success not only in school, but in their sport. A lot of these sports are really tough to play. Most sports are really tough to play. And I think sometimes parents forget that it's not about them being in the spotlight, but it's about their son or daughter being in the spotlight. And when it comes to the recruiting process, limelight coaches usually don't stick around too often. Coaches that are really all about promoting their product, promoting their club, promoting their team, and not focusing on what needs to happen in the college recruiting process usually don't stick around too often. There are so many clubs out there that have scholarship athletes and scholarship players but a lot of summer teams and a lot of coaches and clubs don't talk to their players about the college recruiting process or it's just some random event that they do a few times a year and they expect you to ascertain everything that you need to about the biggest decision that you're going to make <laughs> in your life at that point in time and it's a huge decision and it's one that definitely shouldn't be taken lightly but so many times spotlight parents and limelight coaches simply take the limelight and they take the attention away from the prospect this is a huge mistake it's a huge mistake and so 
if you are a parent or or actually if you're a prospect that's in this recruiting process and you feel that you might have limelight coaches or spotlight parents, you probably already do. And if you're recognizing that, that's the first step. The second step is communicating with these parents and coaches and letting them know in a respectful way that you will do everything that you can to improve yourself, but you need the approach of the parent or the coach to be adjusted. Again, if the parent or the coach are healthy souls and they could understand that it's a teenager communicating their wishes and desires on how the approach should be when it comes to the recruiting process, when you have healthy adults, this will be a healthy conversation. If you have unhealthy adults or people that make it about themselves or don't want to listen to the high school athlete, that's an unhealthy soul. It's a tough conversation to have, but it's a really necessary conversation to have. This college recruiting process is not supposed to be easy, but what we can do is we can simplify certain things down. And a lot of times, all we have to do as athletes is to have that conversation with our parent or our coaches if we don't feel things are going the way that we would like them to go. It doesn't mean that we're disrespectful. It doesn't mean that we tell them what to do. But it does mean that we're responsible as athletes to make sure that we communicate our feelings and our message to those that are around us, especially when it comes to our coaches and when it comes to our parents. We don't want to look back when we're a senior in high school or a freshman in college with no scholarship on what are the things that we could have done differently. And if the difference is that you just had a simple conversation, well, that's a conversation certainly that we would recommend at LPG worth having. We don't want parents to be in the spotlight. We want prospects to be in the spotlight. We don't want coaches to be in the limelight. We want scholarships and prospects to be in the limelight. Of course, the recruiting process is a little different if you're trying to do it all on your own. Of course, this is something that I, of course, of course, of course, have said so many times that Having a college recruiting advisor is highly recommended, especially for prospects that are on the fence, not sure what to do in the college recruiting process, and parents that are not wanting to do it on their own. We wouldn't recommend it, and more times than not, it does not end up providing the opportunities that you would have if you were working with someone that has experience in the college recruiting process. So keep an eye out for those spotlight parents and limelight coaches and of course, if you have any questions about your college recruiting process, you're welcome to reach out to us by visiting luchiprospectgroup.com and you can set up a free college recruiting consultation under the LPG homepage. And of course, that's what we're all about at LPG is making sure that we provide truthful, accurate, and honest information when it comes to the college recruiting process. And of course, making sure to keep those spotlight parents and those limelight coaches in check. Until next time, I'm Jake Lucci. I'll talk to you soon.